Hello and welcome to Such the Reality. Let's have a look at the top news from various places around the world. Hamas has rejected an Israeli ceasefire proposal mediated by Qatar and Egypt, asserting that it fails to meet the demands of Palestinian factions. Despite labeling the proposal as intransigent, Hamas announced its intention to review the offer and provide a response to the mediators. This development comes amid escalating tensions with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu indicating a planned invasion of Rafah, Gaza's last refuse for displaced Palestinians. Talks in Cairo involving Qatari and Egyptian mediators along with CIA Director William Barnes underscores the mounting pressure from Israel's main ally, the United States, to broker a deal. The focus remains on securing the release of Israeli hostages held in Gaza and delivering aid to civilians grappling with the aftermath of six months of conflict. The special counsel pursuing federal criminal charges against Donald Trump for his efforts to overturn his 2020 election loss filed a U.S. Supreme Court brief urging the justices to reject the former president's bid for immunity from prosecution on the principle that no person is above the law. The case is due to be argued before the justices on April 25th. Trump had appealed a lower court's rejection of his request to be shielded from the criminal case brought by special counsel Jack Smith because he was serving as president when he took the actions at the center of the case. Floods are threatening Russia's southern Kurgan region, putting more than 19,000 people's lives at risk. Days after unprecedented flooding displaced thousands of people and inundated a city in the Ural region. Citing the local branch of Russia's Ministry of Emergency Situations, TAS's news agency reported that at least 4,000 homes could also be affected. Emergency measures were put in place in the region. Some of the worst floods in decades have hit a string of Russian regions in the Ural Mountains and Siberia. Alongside parts of neighboring Kazakhstan in recent days after Europe's third longest river burst through a dam. Britain and other major European countries with maritime borders on the North Sea today signed an agreement to work together to protect underwater infrastructure, including from possible Russian attacks. The six countries involved Belgium, Britain, Denmark, Germany, Norway, and the Netherlands. Signed a joint declaration they said would allow them to share information. Threats to undersea cables and pipelines have become a security focus for Western European countries following the September 2022 explosions on the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines built to ship gas from Russia to Germany across the Baltic Sea. In what comes as a massive claim, the Russian authority has alleged that Ukraine had endangered European nuclear security by attacking the Russian-controlled nuclear power station with a drone which was shot down over a reactor. Ukraine has denied it is behind a series of drone attacks on the plant over the past 48 hours, including three drone attacks which the International Atomic Energy Agency said had endangered nuclear safety. The Kremlin said such Ukrainian drone attacks were very dangerous and had extremely grave potential consequences. A Ukrainian intelligence official said Kyiv had nothing to do with any strikes on the station and suggested they were the works of Russians themselves. Thank you. For more updates, keep watching Such the Reality.